You're looking live along the street that county leaders call the most dangerous in Seattle. It's the stretch of 3rd Avenue that sits right outside the King County Courthouse. Judges and county staff say they don't feel safe. Now they're asking for more help. Como's Gabe Cohen takes you inside 3rd Avenue chaos in this Project Seattle report. Outside the King County Courthouse, Kara Armitis is uneasy. I'm, I'm slightly uncomfortable, I won't lie. This was the last time she stepped out onto 3rd Avenue. That's Kara leaving work to catch a train. Surveillance video shows a man crossing the street mumbling to himself. He steps in front of Kara, she goes around him, and then he punches her in the back of the head, leaving her with a concussion. Although it was horrifying, it was not even remotely surprising. I've heard so many stories of people being attacked right here in this very spot. Courthouse employees and jurors are scared to go out onto 3rd Avenue because this is the scene. People drinking and abusing drugs, groups shouting, people in crisis or asleep in the nearby park, human feces and use condoms, and there's violence. This fistfight broke out just minutes after we got there. One of the men begged me to call 911. One took his shirt off and is now chasing him. So I did. They just crossed the street 30 seconds ago. We need help. Judge Sean O'Donnell came forward with these concerns nearly two years ago. Does it feel any safer? It's a hard one to say that the, the needles really moved much. Some argue conditions here are a bit better. The sidewalks now get washed each week. The city invested in this park next to the courthouse. And now the building opens the 4th Avenue entrance more often to keep staff and jurors safe. But Seattle police statistics pulled last month show more than 160 reported assaults near the courthouse so far this year. That's right on par with 2018. Members of the public deserve to feel safe when they come to their courthouse. Judge Jim Rogers says some jurors aren't even showing up out of fear. They're now posting these signs warning people to watch their surroundings and report any violence. The number of officers has increased on 3rd Avenue. We would like more. We think an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. We spent hours on the block only seeing an occasional bike patrol despite frequent emergency calls. County employees have now been begging SPD for more patrols for close to two years. What would you ask of the city? I want them to come here and experience this. Kara sees an absurd contrast between the beacon of justice and resolution inside these walls and the problem no one can seem to fix right outside, forcing folks like her to watch their backs. It's almost like we're perpetuating this like rape culture where it's constantly don't do this, don't do that. But what about stopping their actions? I feel like that has not been done at all. In Seattle, Gabe Cohen, Como News. Now there's another part to this. Gabe brought these concerns to the city of Seattle to find out what they're doing to help jurors and county staff. And the response, or lack thereof, was fairly stunning. He has that part of the story tomorrow on Como News at 11 o'clock.